fatter with him and AJ if he take you up from the seaside. So me and mm-hmm. him drive down the man. Yeah, cause the man, he gone from the bicycle. Me and him drive him down. Mm-hmm. You still call him man ride right? up on yeah. the bicycle. You know, man, who you call Nick and let me catch him. You see me? So I me and up going him down and catch him. And me and him did this until the police come and sit in. But they don't just go and hold it in. I don't know, I try to make him come look for you when I did them. You know? Yeah. I um, mean, I showed you still, I make you know what make you have to do. Yeah, man. So, what I did, my brother? Yeah, me don't think I'm going to get me to my car. I'm going to be asleep, yeah. Yeah, man. What I, me, just, just, I just show me what I can, man. I'm, 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 back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me Hello, my view members. Don't start your day with broken pieces of yesterday. Every day is a fresh start. Each day is a new beginning. Every morning we wake up is the first day of a new life. As we all know, today will never come again. Be a blessing. Be a friend. Encourage someone. Take time to care and let your words heal, not wound someone. God bless you and have a lovely day. Welcome, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life and the gathering. Anyway, keep back and relax. I make a just wheel off some news. Let me tell you something. I'm not run mad people joking. That's why when I see them, you know, I either stay far and if I see them come too close to me, just no say. I go clap them out of the way, I go clap them with something. You understand? And I cannot believe people this day and age, 2023, just a live for themselves. People just a live for themselves. You see, you don't have time to take out your phone and video the madman. But nobody never have time to render some assistance to the youth. No, man. Something wrong about you. Well, them normally say people are different for themselves and themselves alone, you know. So maybe just maybe at that. But when me feel if you understand, the youth them stand up there so and wait until the madman come cross upon them. If you chop them, then they decide to run. All that then make sense, you know. That then make no sense whatsoever. You stand up like a sitting duck. Yes, people. Stand up like a sitting duck. Which part of them they are wait to get them chap. See there? He man chop him up and gone. Channel star. Anyway, more news. The St. Catherine Police has launched an investigation into the murder of a man whose body was found in Pineapple in Bagua in the parish. The police has identified the dead man as Kemar Keston, otherwise called 10 Days, a 28-year-old construction worker of Cooley Lane, Bagua. I be here people are dead or another lane there. We don't need to leave, you understand? It's reported about 7 p.m. Thursday, yes, which is yesterday where some holy pa people you think say. Nobody not dead. People are always dead, man. This is Jamaica. Every single day, somebody dead. Tell them we go on power, go on film now. You know, say me go buy shop right up there, there's up the road. Go buy some food and I head home back. I see by the time him reach up the road, we Yeah, people, that a gunshot. Resident later found his body and some of the police. The police and the rival, guess what, people? I shot him get the name Ed. Ed shot him get. Ed shot him get, people, in purple shirt. Turn red, in grey shot, turn red, and the little mosquito destroy him go by, the day right pan him chest, you understand? And the man in teeth in shoes and gone. Yes, then teeth in shoes. I never have had no shoes. I tell me, I tell you no, you understand? But anyway, more news. 
Currently, the Mills, the mechanic, was arrested and charged in connection with car stealing ring in Old Abyssin. Catherine, on Thursday, pled guilty and is to be sentenced next year. On August 1st, police conducted an operation in Gardnerwood community during which 11 stolen motor vehicles were found. Days later, investigators charged Mills, otherwise called Tallman, with last year's motor vehicle and receiving stolen property after he failed to account for all the vehicles. I slap Mr. Boy, I should I get slapped with? Yeah, man, him should I get slapped when me I tell him the truth. Me is a one little ginal. A long time, him boy, your thief still, you know. And I just know my people. Long, long, long time. Hold on there. Then find one gun right up at the PMP headquarters. Let me tell you how that go. A firearm was found at headquarters of the People's National Party. The firearm was reported found in a box containing items that was donated to the Party 89 Oro Pool Base in St. Andrew on Thursday. But hold on. I don't find them fine nothing. I donate them and donate them a gun for tell them say yo, protect themselves. You understand? That's how the man do. The man give them a gun for tell them protect themselves. Sophia, come tell the people them are going power are going. Come below. Maybe they not believe me, you know. Somebody had a hand over some stuff. So personal at the arm, the headquarters there. And apparently during the going through the stuff that, that would have been handed over to them, they would have found the, the, the firearm. But we suspect the firearm the, um, belongs to the person who would have handed over some stuff. That is that where that is concerned. Anyway now, people, wicked man same thing now. Long time we're not going to go to the courthouse, don't it? Down the way I go. And guess what I go on for what I go on? Me no want nobody laugh. Me don't laugh for everybody already. Man demand belly maintenance refund. Him and say boy I'm back all the money. Yes, people. Get to find out say yo. And if him pick me in that, you know, it's another man who want. Me need back all of my money because me spend up all my money to DNA test and ultrasound. I may not even know if this baby is mine. Dale Stewart said in a Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court yesterday. The 23 year old man appeared in court on charges of assault occasioning body harm after he allegedly slapped the complainant in her face because she allowed a male friend to visit the home. Stewart content he did not eat her. Yes, people. Come like other M and the Papa still female, you know. Yes. On Thursday, he told the court that owing to that turn of events, he needed a DNA test to determine the paternity of the child. However, the complainant said there was no need for any test. She said, Stuart is not the father. You are not the father. You will get some ring because you understand. And of your picnic. And she has already communicated that to him. She also said that he has not spent a lot of money supporting her pregnancy. Then I'm like a $15,000 I'm going to over. I know nothing that. That she make him know enough. The complainant told the parish judge, Lauren Cole Montague, that Stuart got vexed because I tell him to come out of my house. A big old dirty lazy boy, you understand? Him not pay a bill or nothing, your honor, the complainant said. A determined steward asked what would be done to ensure he is refunded the money he spent on the unborn child. Some man have enough heads to listen, man, they just want back him money. All me I go get back my money, your honor, because she have three picnic and me did not help her only because me think this baby was mine. He further stated that a result of the incident between the complainant, his fiancée to whom he was engaged about a month ago, has been arguing with him. Your Honor, my wife is overseas and at the money where she send me, me I use it to mine she and her tree picnic them. For that my big screen TV, you know, people. I be a jammer going to Jamaica a quarter of the time, you know, me I tell you, know. A corporate era man has been ordered to pay 100000 in compensation to his baby mother after he used a knife to cut two of her braids from her big head. Yes, people. The man, Leighton McFarlane, admitted to assaulting his baby mother during a dispute that became physical. We were fighting, your honor. That's why the man get up in the court and say, you know, he admit to pushing the complainant in her face and then proceed to punch her in her neck while holding a knife right at the neck. You understand? Photographs of the complainant injury were shown to the judge, who, upon seeing the images, described the matter as serious. The complainant said she was attacked by McFarlane while in a store downtown Kingston. She requests compensation of 100000 So she said she don't want 100000 So the judge just tell him, so what you want for a You can't manage it. And him say, yeah. 
So a judge take 50 from him and he's supposed to go pay the other 50 today. If he don't pay it, me I go make good know. But watch out now, people. Big and serious now. Ah, rules are rules. I can't believe we're still the right so. You know what I got? Hmm? One of these fine days, we're going to turn back a child from school. And guess what? I said, reach at the school, get something wrong with them. And then you're here. If we didn't know, if we didn't know, then again, rules are rules. The pants tight, according to. Say, so in a meet them school level, it will be three, three. inch. Right around. Her son is among several students who weren't allowed on the school's compound, not until they followed the rules at least. His hair was reportedly too high, her uniform too short, and this one without a tie. I mean, it's a ministry. A ministry, they tell us that we can go in the school, hear it all and think. So I don't understand why the matter was we can go in the school. This parent revealed that they reported the matter. However, his son was still not let in. No, we got ministry and come back. Now that the security was here at the gate, I give my baby mother attitude. Those parents, for those children, have it in their mindset. Them is within the confinement and the safety of the school. Them have an auditorium over there. Why they can't make it a detention area? Why they can't find ways and means to keep these children in? Time and time again, I have um, police from our community here, so in Fletcher's land, that has to. We have to call them and let them reprimand some of these kids and bring them and that's the only time they are accepted back in the school for the day. Peter James operates a cook shop in Fletcher's Land. As a past student of Kingston High, formerly Kingston Senior, he says he's disappointed in the actions of the school administrator. He pointed to the obvious dangers of sending the students away. I don't want to run them and then later on I look, I see them on the news. Missing, body found here, rape, kill, shot. So I just allow them to stay where they are. I'm going to say this to you. Get your act in order. Get these children in school. Get these children educated. Mr. Andrew Olness, you are our Prime Minister. Please to look into it.